How do you know if you have high histamine intolerance and you should avoid the histamine food? Or if it's high FODMAP? What is the difference? So, first of all, as a science-based nutritionist and functional medicine practitioner, I highly recommend this book, The Digestive Health so- uh, Solution from Benjamin Brown. You will learn pretty much everything about any digestive issue. And today, I want to shine the line on histamine intolerance because many of my female clients that are perimenopausal and also had a history of um, pollen allergy or maybe food allergy or intolerance, they notice that with age, it's getting worse. And how do you know like, what are the sign symptoms? So bloating is the typical one, cramps, nausea, irritability, insomnia, seasonal um, or food allergies, menstrual uh, irregulation, headache, flushing, heart uh, palpitations. All these can be after eating certain food, even healthy food. So for example, spinach. Spinach is super healthy. You might have a spinach smoothie in the morning and then you feel like "Hmm, your heart is getting 10 um, pulses higher, maybe you are using aura ring, so you know that, and then you feel some flushing into the face. Maybe you also have rosacea in your face. So you would definitely want to know if you have insulin, uh, if you have uh, a histamine intolerance. You can definitely test it. You can do the D-amino oxidase test, you can test the histamine, you can uh, look at the urinary metabolites, you can look at the Uh, stool tests, um, if it's really uh, histamine, Um, you can see if it's from the food or if it's the mast cells like reacting to something else. So if there is overdrive of the immune system, Um, which food is it? So I obviously mentioned uh, spinach, which is the one that clients mostly mention. Then it's tomatoes, red wine, and everything that has been fermented or aged because that has a high histamine. So kimchi, sauerkraut, Natto, um, all these healthy, healthy things, Parmigiano Reggiano, Manchego cheese, um, uh, prosciutto crudo, um, you know, smoked salmon, you name it. So if you would like to download the anti-histamine shopping list, so this is two pages of food that might be triggering the histamine, and then one page is food that is safe, then drop me a note and I will send it to you.